Amen. We, I want to address some few things uh, concerning my nation, uh, Kenya, today uh, at the dawn of 18th of April year 2023. Uh, every time the children of Israel, people who had a promise of God in their destiny, meant as God preordained uh, to be the father nation in Africa. Nation Kenya is made of honor, meant by God or assigned by God to prepare other nations for the second coming of Jesus Christ. The nation Kenya is the springboard of eternal be good for us. Now, I will speak out as a voice of God in the nation and in boldness, we have to address these things. The current government, you are there because it is God who ordained it to be so. There is no authority in the world that can be unless that which is ordained of the Lord. Now, uh, when, when you mention the name of the Lord and we have, you know, an intercessor or first lady, when we have a pastor, a, actually a pastor in the office, you know, as the second, you know, our, our second mom in the nation, there are some things that must be addressed and stopped. In the past regime, we did not have people who had professed to be so, to be even, you know, vocal saying we are born again. But this government, we have people who have confessed to be lovers of the true God and to be born again. How comes when, when other regimes were there, they never allowed major and godly things or rules to be passed in our nation? How comes that we have allowed this government? Because I believe whatever the LGBTQ, you know, that uh, law or regulation that was passed on in the nation, it did not come behind the back of the authorities we have. And how comes nothing is being done? Let me tell you, that loophole you have created for the devil, the Lord has told me today, this night, it's going to make the ruling and the leadership that is currently in the office very difficult. I'm telling you, you will, you will encounter opposition and battles like left and center. Because why? You have decided to create loopholes, yet covering up and mentioning the name of the Lord God of Israel in your lives. But then that amid, you know what the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 1, why God gave people to this kind of immorality or, you know, detestable kind of practices. Even animals don't go that direction, you know. And as believers in Jesus Christ, whom we have professed you people, we know that is against the scriptures. That is against the word. We cannot usher the nation of Kenya to such kind of a direction. Yet, we are in the church of Jesus Christ. I start today as a mother, as a daughter in the Lord, as a prophet of God in this country. Dr. Ruto, your excellence as president, with your wife, excellence Lecho, with your deputy, uh, you know, Honorable Gashagua, and the wife who is a pastor, Dorcas, Pastor Dorcas, this one, you cannot bear it. Let me tell you, it's going to, to that, that loophole alone, that loophole alone will cause the leadership, anything you try to touch in there, it's going to be warfare after warfare. It is going to be so difficult for you. It does not matter whether you have intercessors anywhere or you have them. Gather whoever you want to gather. But, you know, you know, God had spoken and he said, we knew it is going to go that direction. God will give you the government. And the Lord said, what will make it easy for you to govern is adhering to the statutes of the God of our creation. You know, to, to the God, the Father of our Savior, Jesus Christ. You have to seek his face. You have, you have to do it his way. Number two, I want to correct. Let me tell you, unless you are right to the purposes of God for the nation, Dr. Ruto and your government, it does not matter which prophet is surrounding you and telling you it is well or telling you what. You people, it will not be easy. 
we are telling you we shall speak it and it will be that way. Because you, you cannot cover up in God. But what is trickling down is having question, question marks. Because we know we are surrounded by, by, by people who are not born again. So this regime actually, it's supposed to pull so many people into the kingdom of God. Not driving or drifting, I mean causing many drift from, from, you know, from even desiring to know, you know Jesus in their lives. So it's not going to be easy. Anything you try to do through selfish agenda, I'm telling you, you know the Spirit of God say, even you cook, even you get men, people are going to make noise. People are going to fight back. And it is going to be so difficult. That, 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 you know, you, you, and let me tell you, you know, yesterday as I, was praying, as I was praying for the nation, the Spirit of God kept telling me to tell you people, and you know, we shall not keep quiet. He still will judge you. And you are generations to the fourth generation. You cannot allow anything LGBTQ cannot be mentioned in the nation of Kenya as a lewd, whatever, as a pastoral or a relation in the nation. It cannot, and any other evil thing, any other evil thing, you cannot be out. The nation of Kenya cannot be a part of that. Even our judges, you cannot go there. It does not matter the money. It does not matter whatever is coming from other nations. The, 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 the new world order, the people who are supporting these things, the nation of Kenya, I'm telling you, cannot go that direction. Can I tell you, uh, scaringly, it's going to be so difficult. God will fight, but actually, nobody will fight anybody. But God will, because the Bible says he's a generous God. So he's going to fight back. God will fight back. And let me tell you, God will hit back. God will fight back and God will, 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 I mean, will hit back. Because let me tell you, look at the story of Nani and Safira. You know, you cannot lie to the Spirit of God. You, you, cannot, you cannot counter the operation of God. You cannot counter the agenda of God. You cannot and go scotch free. So anything that has been done under the carpet, and if somebody has, you know, personal agenda, selfish agenda, and I said the other day, you know, nobody should be averaging anywhere or revenging anywhere. Because let me tell you, you are, you know, the office God has given you is just for a short moment. Another person will come. The nation cannot live on warfare because somebody wants to revenge here and revenge there. So God expects, you know, the nation now to be reconciled, to be healed. And it is very easy when you people walk in the ways of the Lord, when you do whatever, or every kind of an, I mean, an undertaking, you know, it's, it's handled or taken, you know, or done, you know, within the, 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 the perimeter, you know, or within the vicinity of the will and the counsel of God. And this has been my prayer and the prayer of anybody sober in the nation. Because let me tell you, some of the people surrounding, you know, are surrounding some authorities in this nation, and they have titles and they are, they are, they are known even as intercessors and all those things. Many people are just out for their selfish gain. And that's why you see when they are given little money, they, they go silent. Some people are very vocal when they have taken the two billion and whatever kind of money, they no longer talk about anything else. Let me tell you, let me tell you, it is time from this April going all the way to December. The kind of massive clearance God will do in the nation of Kenya, it will be so scary. The kind of massive clearance God will do in the nation of Kenya for his purposes in the country, it is going to be so scary. So please, my brethren, particularly the leadership that God has given the nation of Kenya now, it is no business as usual. Let us not rebuke the devil where he's not there, where we have created loopholes by ourselves. Any kind of a business you try to venture into and counter so many things and kind of, uh, you know, try to fight some people and other people and so many things. Let me tell you, this whatever is happening in Kenya is nobody's battle. It's God's battle because the nation of Kenya has a purpose in God. So let each one of us be aligned. Let each one of us be aligned to that which is the agenda of God for the nation and in the nation of Kenya in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you, there is nothing anybody will try to do against the agenda of God in Kenya, whether it is a president, whether it is a deputy that will not face opposition. I'm telling you, even the, the watchman, even the security authorities, people will fight back because why? God has taken over the nation of Kenya and anybody and anything that will try to do anything else against the purpose of God for the nation, God will deal with them. So my prayer is, I say 
as a, as a son of God in the nation, I say uh, as a voice of God in the country, with much humility, but, but in boldness, we cannot have an anything LGBTQ past or license over in this nation. We don't need them in the church. They cannot come to church unless, uh, you know, unless they are coming to repent. But be members in our churches, in our church fellowships, because why? The faith we subscribe into does not allow a man to marry another man or a man to, to have a, an intimate relationship with another man. That is an evil kingdom. We cannot have, we cannot allow this, that, you know, these people, we should allow them, we should accommodate them because they are in our midst. No, we accommodate them as church to tell them to repent, not accommodate them to give them the comfort, to feel that they are okay. They are not okay. See, a man sleeping with another man or having intimate relationship with another man and the other way around, a woman with a, with a woman, that is against the word of God. Romans chapter 1, it is against the word of God. And it was not so from the beginning. God did not create Adam to another, I mean, God did not create to Adam them another man god is not confused and we cannot have a government that is purporting to be to be free from the church and it was prayed for and with so many you know calls for prayers and fasting and all those things that cannot correct the error that is against the word of god we shall shout this we shall declare it we shall stop it and we shall stop this and we cannot take this to the generation of our children we cannot have that in kenya even our founding fathers in this nation and all others, even the, the, them that have said Moi, you know, our honorable fathers who have left and Kimbaki, they never allowed this. Even our past president, the retired one, President Hukijata, he refused. How comes people who are saying they are born again, they are and they have allowed such a thing in the nation? Kaitre, anyone who's going to watch this and hear this, the spirit of God is groaning. Because we cannot, we, we cannot just be going on in Kenya as if everything is okay. Everything is not okay. And when we grieve the Spirit of God in this country, we are creating loopholes for attacks. Let me tell you, Dr. William Ruto and your government, you have not faced opposition. You are about to face opposition. Even when you are doing good, you, you, there will be noise throughout. There will be battles right, left, and center. And nobody can, can stop this. Nobody can calm this uh, turbulence. Nobody can stop these waves. Waves. Nobody can stop these waves. It's only Jesus who can do this. Even as we as we pray and talk to Him. But then, you must uh, make every loophole. You must. Make, it is a must. You must make every loophole and stop anything that is not in line with the word of God in the nation of Kenya. I, I know we have other religious setups, but now what you have subscribed into, and what I saw at Kasarani, you people bowed and you are even, you are even given a Bible. That means you, you people are, you know, are, are, are on the way of Jesus Christ. You know, you, you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are believe in that way. So you cannot divert from that. Because let me tell you, the devil is rolling, I mean, I'm moving around like a rolling lion. He's looking for some bad river. He will hit left, right, and center. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody say he condemned it, but it, it should be removed. If he condemned it, it should be removed. We should not keep silent when it is there. I'm not saying he allowed, but it was passed in his government. I'm, I'm talking about the government. It was passed in his government, in, in, the, in the season of government. So he should be able to arise and have it removed publicly. It, it is not just condemning it. He should, because let me tell you, the person who has written that message, you know, it, it, there is nothing like a rule or something that can be passed in the nation, you know, and, and the government of the day is not aware, you know. And even, even if they are not aware because uh, the courts are, are, are private sectors, you know, then the, when they get it, it should be condemned and, you know, quickly it should be corrected. That is what we are saying. Because let me tell you, what is in the atmosphere right now? I'll just say, the person who is correcting me, what is in the atmosphere right now it is grieving the spirit of God. And it is going to be a loophole that will affect the current government. You know, you know it, is, it is going to affect the current government in a very negative way. We are going to have noise because there is that loophole. That one is a major one. That one is a major one. So it is within, it is within their power. It, they are the people up there. It is within their power to do whatever it takes, you know, to correct that error. Because we cannot have a nation that is accommodating same, same, same sets, you know, uh, whatever, marriages and all of your associations. We cannot have that. We cannot have that. 
That's what I'm saying. It is within their power. It has been passed in their, in, within their government. Other governments refused. So it has been passed within the government that is saying, you know, we are Christians. That is what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. So it, that, that tale has to be corrected, whether people like it or not. Hallelujah. And, and we, are not going to shy, we, we are not going to shy down. Because very soon, as we, as we, as we accommodate this, we are going to see as it has happened in the UK. We are going to see even in our in our schools, you know, some things being brought up now because now we are accommodating things that are not godly, and we cannot keep quiet and allow that to be founded on the same. So I was I wanted to say this: anything that is not founded on God in this government, it's going to make it very difficult for them, and that's why I'm saying they must um they they must they must you know God must God must connect them to true prophetic voices, people who are hearing God for now, so that they, that they don't just throw and, 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 and assume all is not okay. They need to know what is God saying, what, where are we and what is it, so that even as the intercessors gather, the right intercessors, not everybody who is saying I'm an intercessor, and because of connection and association, they are all over. Hallelujah. Now, people who are called by God for the season, they are able now to stand and uh, you know, take charge and defend the territories of the nation. God has such kind of people in our nation by the grace of God. And so that word there, that error has to be corrected. The government of Kenya, that error, it's not just condemning it, that error has to be corrected. It is within your power, that error in Kenya has to be corrected. That error, yes, it happened within their rule, it has to be corrected. It has to be, otherwise... Yes, hallelujah. And any other thing they are planning or any other direction they will take, unless it is in line with the purposes of God, it will create more loopholes for there to be a lot of unnecessary noise, unnecessary battles, and unnecessary warfare. Hallelujah. And I leave that word there. God bless you.